So just what can you do with the LED backlights that come out of an old TV, like the one I changed the backlights on yesterday? Well, there's a few things you can do. You can use them for general lighting. You just have to modify them to operate at lower voltages. Let's check it out. So I figured I'd have some fun with these old strips from the TV. Out of the 10, there was uh, two of them that were actually salvageable. There was like there was five lights, but there's two strips per light. So one of them only had one that was bad. Every other one I've already tossed them, but they're completely shot. How we can test these things in their native format is um, these require around 20 volts per strip because you've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 18, 20, 23 volts, right? Uh, 3 volts each. So 20 to 23 volts. I'm going to give them 20 volts so that we can test them to see whether they work. I already know that they work, but I'll show you how I test them. So a strip like this that's got the connector at the other end. Normally these we have like 48 volts across them if they're plugged in together because these strips would normally be plugged in like that for the full width, but we don't need that. I want to run these lights on 9 volts or 20 volts say. Ideally I'd love to run them on 12 volts so I can actually modify them to break it and put them in, in parallel with two strips of 12 if I want to run them on 12. But in this case I'm going to run them on 20 just for testing. So basically how these were wired from the factory is it goes through all the LEDs and then out one side and the other one all the way through the other LEDs that are plug in and then they are shorted at the end and they come back so for this strip here I need to short these two together to provide the return path and then if I put my 24 volts 20 volts whatever I'll put 24 on here because let's just drive them up if I put my positive on the positive terminal and my negative on the negative terminal, the lights will light up and you'll see that the one light at the end is one that's shorted internally. And this is what I get when people say, well, why don't they, I don't understand why the manufacturers don't put the LEDs in parallel. That's the first thing that people complain. Why do all these TV manufacturers put them in series? It would make more sense to put them in parallel because if an LED goes open, the light strip will continue to run if they're in parallel. Problem is, as you can see here, that LED is shorted. When LEDs fail, they typically fail one of two ways. They either go open or they go short. And in this case, it went shorted. And as you can see, the other LEDs, oh, there's six of them, because there's seven on each strip, the others are functioning just fine. If one went open, of course, the entire strip would go dead. But if they short, they will continue to run. Now, if you had all your LEDs in parallel with each other, you would actually have to have a fuse for each individual LED because if you didn't and one shorted you'd blow your power supply up. For the strip that doesn't have an end to it, a connector on the other end, I can just connect these ones up just like this and all of these ones will work. So if I want to run these on 12 volts I have to break it in the middle and connect it up for 12 volts which is possible to do just have to cut a trace and put a jumper wire across so that 12 volts could be used to feed two strips of them in parallel you'd have three on one and four on the other but it's quite easy to do if I scrape here take the, scrape the paint off I have to cut a trace on here as well but there's a trace that goes along the edge right here that I can cut through and that will break the connection between these lights here. See if I put my meter across there you'll see that this one's lighting up. Let's put my meter across here. Whoops. That one lights up. So if I cut it right here get my good old trusky snips out and just cut this in half. Now I can apply 12 volts turn this into a little 12 volt strip great for bench lighting or something but 12 volt strip across from there to there 12 volts there we go 
So at least I can reuse these. I wonder if I should pop these lenses off. Might make them more useful without the lenses. And the fact that the lenses all just fall off anyway, they're so bad. Crap all the lights. Let's see what type of light I can get out of this thing now. Is it better? Oh yeah. I may find a use for that. Here's a look at the one of the bad ones here from the other strip. You can see a little black dot there. Where it's shorted. Here's the other strip. Again, just cut it down to four. And then and positives here. Should be able to put negative onto this one. There we go. And those four light. So I can put two strips together and make myself a nice little eight LED light source for like putting under a countertop or or um, a bench. Runs off of a little 12 volt adapter. Anyway, that's what you can do with the dead LEDs from TVs. See, the other ones were there were so many of them that were shot on this panel that uh, the only two strips that were were salvaging were these two. And even out of these two here, a couple more of them went bad. Like on this on this panel here. This one was bad and the other strip, a couple of them went bad. Well, just while I was working on it. As you can see with this one here. Uh, that one lights with the meter, but this one here. That one's shorted. Let's look at the meter here. All right, this one's shorted. But no light. This one here, you got light. This one here, oh, that one works, so two of them work. But this one went bad. So two of them aren't really much use. So um, that strip of three is no good, and that strip of three is no good. But I got two strips that have got four LEDs on them that I could use for lighting applications, like you know, putting in behind one of my uh, beer signs, for example. Run them off 12 volts. Anyway, there you go. Recycling some LED lights. Thanks for watching.